Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Here we are, start of September, three quarters of the way through the year. Wow, it doesn't feel like it, does it? Here in Australia, it's the start of spring. Looking forward to that, looking forward to getting some warmer weather, I can tell you. Today's video, we're going to be looking at the pens that I'm going to be using during September. Now, the theme for this month originally was planned to be small nibbed pens. So that's pens with a small nib. But Star Trek Strange New Worlds has just finished. We're eagerly awaiting the start of Star Trek Lower Decks. And I thought, let's theme this month's pens around Star Trek. So it could be characters, it could be ships, it could be races, anything. But as long as it could be tied down to Star Trek. Well, in a way, I wish I hadn't done because it's been very difficult to choose the pens, but I've got my selection of six. So join me now down on the table. We'll take a look at the pens I'm going to be using during September of 2023. Here we are down on the table. So pens in use September 2023. Star Trek. So let's jump in and look at the first pen. So the first pen is the Jinhao 100 Centennial. This one's the blue one. Why is it a blue one? Well, because I thought, what better choice than Andorians? They're a blue-skinned race. And yes, most of the blue is a bit dark, but there is some paler blues there. It's a very nice-looking pen. It's a reasonably priced pen. So what ink have I put in here? Well, again, I've gone for a blue ink. And the ink, I thought, nice one. Yeah, Robert Oster. So it's an Australian company and it's blue water ice. Let's see how these look. So we've got a, a Jinhao. One hundred Centennial. This has got a medium nib. Really nice. I've got a number of these Jinhao 100s, all with medium nibs. I like all of them. Cost-wise, it was 18 Aussie dollars. I'm going to put in here, this is Andorian. Andorian. Just so I can see where I'm matching. The ink, as I said, Robert Toster. Blue water ice. Now, hopefully, as this tries, we'll start to be able to see it, but there is a little bit of a red sheen in this. Drying times, so we go immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. Well, that's dry there at 30 seconds, so this looks like it could be a good candidate for note-taking, because it seems to dry fairly quickly. I'm just going to lift this up. Can we see any of that red sheen? Not really. But I do see it on some other papers. So this is the Jinhao 100 Centennial and Robert Oster Blue Water Ice. So my second pen. This is the Pen BBS in a transparent green colour. And why I'm tying this to Star Trek? Well, I was thinking we've got in uh, Lower Decks, Star Trek Lower Decks, there's the character Tendi. And she's an Orion. Now, Orions did appear in a number of the other series. I think it was actually in even the original pilot. Um, there was an Orion slave girl in one of the flashback scenes. So the Orions, yeah, they've been there all the way through with Star Trek. I love the transparent nature of this. It's got a fine point on the nib. That's one of the downsides with these. I find I can't get any medium nibs, so you're limited with nib choice. But it looks like a number six nib, so it should be possible to change it if you want to. So we've got here a Pen BBS 308 with that fine nib. Cost wise, this was 32 Aussie dollars. Then over here, I'll put Orion. And then I say it's Tendi. The ink is by Cult Pens. And it's deep, dark, green. This to me, it's a very nice, it's like a 
dusty type of green color so it's not the bright green that you often see it's green with attitude is a nice way to think about it drying times so we go immediate 10 seconds 30 seconds 've got quite a bit of wetness in there so we'll go one minute even after a minute we've got a fair bit of smudging let's go for it let's do two minutes after two minutes now we're nice and dry very wet writing pen for a fine nib so I'll need to think about this when I'm doing my note taking because if I have to wait between a minute and two minutes before turning a page, to be honest, it's not really much use. So that's going to be interesting to monitor that. So this is the Pen BBS 308 and Cult Pen's Deep Dark Green. The next pen, that's going to represent a character. So the pen, this is the Hongdian N8, and I believe it's called Flying Feathers. There's a name there. Got these gorgeous... Hopefully this comes out. Maybe if I put my hand behind it, it might help. Got these gorgeous like silver inlaid feathers there on that white cap. The barrel, slightly translucent. Not enough that you can really see much, but it's enough to add a little bit of visual interest. The end cap, this is not a piston filling pen. It's a cartridge converter, but that does not move no matter how you try. I'll take the cap off. Again, we're following through the, with the white theme. Have you worked out the character yet? And then inside, we've got a cartridge converter. So the character that I've picked for this, or the character I had in mind and then picked this pen, is Nurse Christine Chapel from Star Trek Strange New Worlds. That's the latest one. Her uniform that she wears is white. So that's why I thought, well, yeah, this looks actually quite nice. Again, on here, we've got a number six nib. Quite a nice decorative nib on there. This one's in a medium. So we've got here a Hondian N8 with a medium nib. Nice, generous nib as well. Cost-wise, this was 41 Aussie dollars. The ink, it's by Dominant Industry. And it's Lungo. And I say this is Christine Chapel. So if I have to change this ink, I'm not going to use the same one. I think brown's nice, white pen, it can go with anything. But to more closely match the character, I don't know, I may go for maybe a blood red type one, seeing as she's a nurse. Drying times, there goes immediate. 10 seconds. Looks quite wet, doesn't it? 30 seconds. One minute. And after a minute, that one's dry. So it's a pen that could be quite good as a note-taking pen. So that's the Hongdian N8 and Dominant Industry Lungo. Just dropping in to interrupt your regular programming. Would you like to help support the channel? If so, please consider joining as a member. As a member, you'll get early access to my videos. I normally upload them a couple of days before they go out, and as soon as they're uploaded, they'll be released to members. There'll also be a shout out at the end of the videos, and then as we get the members coming in, we'll actually chat among ourselves and work out what other perks, what other things you'd like me to add in. You know, would you like maybe a monthly live chat just for members? All down to us. So please, if you can, consider joining the channel. A link will be in the description down below. So pen number four. This is the Just Turnings Enceladus. And this is in Brooks Blank's Golden Blue Jay. How I'm tying this, I'm not turning it around as well. Just want to get a better look, I think. There we go. I think we can see the light better this way. How this ties into Star Trek. The model name of the pen is the Enceladus. And in one of the Star Trek role-playing games, 
there's a ship called the Enceladus. So although it's not exactly canon, I thought it still ties in closely enough. I also like the look of this material and in a little bit of a way, you know, we're stretching a little bit here, aren't we? It reminds me in a way of the nebulas that we see in Star Trek. You know, they're the big clouds of gas. Very nice. So on here, we've got a broad Yoho nib. This is in the gold colour. And we've got a cartridge converter Ooh, with not a lot of ink in here. I think I might change the ink in this one. By the look of it, it might not last a day. I should have checked that before, really, shouldn't I? But it's a nice ink. I, I don't know. I may keep the same ink. I'm just not certain. This is a handmade pen. It's made by a gentleman over in Brisbane. Very nice pen. Very comfortable to use. Look at that size. Look at the size there on the section. Really nice pen. So we've got here a just turnings. Enceladus. With a broad nib. Cost wise, it's not cheap. It's handmade, remember. 185 Aussie dollars. I do think it's actually worth it. The ink by Robert Oster, again, an Australian company in an Australian pen. And it's tranquility. I do like this ink. It's a really nice colour. As I say, I may change the ink, and if I do, I'm toying with putting Aurora Borealis in there uh, because I think it's a nice colour. It's very similar to Tranquility. And here, our tie-in is Enceladus Starship. Drying times. So we've got immediate. Looks quite wet, doesn't it? 10 seconds. 30 seconds. One minute. I'm just going to go over here a little bit. After a minute, that's dry. Now, this has surprised me a little bit because in all the writing I've done up till today, this has been an extremely wet combo. Now, it could be because the ink's running out, but normally I say this would take two minutes to dry. But... We'll go by what we're seeing today, and this is the Just Turnings Enceladus with Robert Oster Tranquility. Pen number five, Sailor Pro Gear Slim. This model is called the Blue Green Nebula, and as I've just said, we see lots of nebulas in Star Trek. I really like this. This is more of the nebula colour that we often see, like a greeny type, a tealy type colour, and hopefully. Let's see if I can get my hand under there, if it will focus. In the material, there's like silver specks, so they're like, they're like stars, and a nebula being where stars are born. Very nice colour, very, very nice pen. 14 karat gold nib. It's, I've got to be honest, one of the nicest nibs I've got. Really love using this nib. Cartridge converter, metal fittings. I like that this is partly transparent, even though you can't really see the ink level through it. It's nice, though, to know that it's there. Downside with this pen is the size. It's very small. It's very thin. I have to use this posted. Posted, it's beautiful. It's really nice. Section still a bit on the thin side, though. So this is the Sailor. Pro Gear Slim. Just listen to that feedback. Hopefully you can hear that on the mic. It's a broad and it's 14 karat gold nib. The cost for this is $244 when I bought it. It's gone up since then. The ink, it's by Diamine. And it's Aurora Borealis. And our tie-in is a nebula. Now, this is the ink I was saying with the Just Turnings pen that I may look at putting the same ink in there. Helps if I write it correctly, doesn't it, Borealis? 
again aurora borealis although it's it's earthbound but it's still it's the the action of the rays coming off the sun um is it the cosmic rays that hit the earth's atmosphere and they give you all these beautiful patterns and aurora borealis is what you see in the northern hemisphere and there's an equivalent one down here in the southern hemisphere let's look at drying times so there's a media 10 seconds 30 seconds nearly dry there let's go for one minute there after a minute that one's nice and dry another one good candidate for note taking so this is the sailor pro gear slim with diamine aurora borealis final pen this is another character based pen i want to see if you can guess the character though so i'll fetch the pen in this is the waterman karen there we go just turn this around so you can see it very nice looking pen the pen is made in france there's your first hint the color of the pen marine amber looks a little bit i mean i'm stretching a little bit here like the color or the main color in the uniform that this character wears it's got an 18 karat gold nib very nice nib it's an inlaid nib the section is a bit on the thin side for me it's a cartridge converter the ink in here i was going to use a wine ink because i thought well the backstory for this character is to do with wine but then i went for something that this character is always saying so i've gone for diamine earl grey very nice pen it's very elegant looking and i've got to be honest the character or the actor that plays the character that's something every time i see him on screen you think of that you know it's quite elegant the character this is based on if you haven't guessed is captain or admiral john luke picard and that's from star trek the next generation and if you've seen it star trek picard very very good first two seasons they're all right they're enjoyable but they're a bit you know here or there last season absolutely excellent i'm not going to spoil it if you can go and watch it so we've got here a waterman karen and it's got that uh, medium and it's 18 karat gold the price i'm going to give you is the price it would cost for me to get another one of these 400 aussie dollars not a cheap pen the ink as i've said is by diamine and it's earl grey gorgeous colored ink you know it's great can't you really say grey is gorgeous but it is it just looks so nice almost silvery sometimes drying times so we go immediate 10 seconds 30 seconds almost dry there one minute after a minute that's nice and dry now one thing i am noticing especially on this last hash mark here there's a little bit of feathering coming through hopefully i can capture that on the camera so that's something i'll have to watch out for but i don't seem to see it on the rest of the writing now i didn't put the name of the tie into star trek so we'll pop it in there picard so this is the waterman karen with diamine earl grey or as picard would say t earl grey hot let's swap on over and take one final look at this month's pens so for this month we've got a jinhao 100 centennial with robert oster blue water ice the pen bbs 308 with cult pens deep dark green the hondian n8 and dominant industry lungo the Just Turnins Enceladus with Robert Oster Tranquility, the Sailor Pro Gear Slim with Diamine Aurora Borealis, and the Waterman Karen with Diamine Earl Grey. 
I hope you've enjoyed today's video. What pens are you using this month? Have you got a theme? How do you pick them? How do you pick the inks that go with them? Please drop a comment down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button. Every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.